Hello students, welcome back. So this is a question from gate 2004 exam. They have given you this expression and they are asking which of the following is equivalent, which of these four is equivalent to this one. So you can notice they have given you it in canonical SOP form. That means you are directly given the min terms. So we'll just fill the K map. This one is 101. That means it is 5. This is 0, 1, 1. So it's going to be 3. 1, 1, 0, 6. This is 0, 0, 1. See, we have bar on A. So A is 0. Bar on B, B is also 0. We don't have a bar on C. So it is 1. 0, 0, 1 is 1 only. And 1, 0, 0 is 4. So let's now fill the K map. 1. 1 is here. See, 0, 0, 1 means 1. So I filled 1 there. And uh, next is 3. 3 is here. Next one is 4, 5 and 6. 4, 5 and 6. Okay. So I filled the K map. These are all the min terms. Min terms means all the places where function outputs are 1. I've written 1 on all these places. Okay. Now let's group these. You can see if you try to group this one, there is only one method to group it like this. Okay. Similarly to group this one, there's again only one method like this. A group of two will be formed. But to group this one, you have two ways. First one is a group of two like this. Second one is a group of two like this. Okay. Uh, these corner ones. So that means you will be having two minimal expressions. Both of them are correct. Let's find out which one is present in the options. So the two ways of grouping it are like this. This is the first method. And this one is the second method. Okay. You can notice this black, uh, the prime implicant drawn in black is essential because, because this one is not covered by any other prime implicant. Similarly, this one is also not covered by any other prime implicant. But the thing is, the prime implicants that are drawn in red, they are not essential. Okay. See, if you talk about this one, the corner ones, even if you don't take this prime implicant, still this one and this one is already being covered by other prime implicants. Similarly, if you ignore this one, both of these ones are already being covered by this prime implicant as well as this prime implicant. Okay. So the red prime implicants, they are not essential. Anyways, let's try to write down the expression. So first of all, I'm going to write down the expression for essential ones. That means the ones that are drawn in black. It is A C bar and A bar C. You can see for this one value of C is 0 for both of these columns. Sorry, C is 1 and A is 0. So A bar C. Okay. Similarly for that one, it will be A C bar plus. Now this one can be included in two ways. First of all, let's take this one. Okay. The corner ones. If I uh, consider this prime implicant and I ignore this. Uh, this one, then the expression will be C B bar. Okay. And if you ignore these corner ones, okay, if you ignore this prime implicant and try to group this one using this prime implicant, let's see what will be the expression in that case. It will be A b bar okay so let us find out which of the following is present in the options you can see option b has to be the answer because we just minimize this expression and got this it is there in the options as it is a c bar plus a bar c a c bar plus a bar c plus a b bar and you have a b bar here okay so answer is option b now, there are actually multiple ways of solving such questions. Okay. It's not necessary that whatever they have written here, 
this option B has to be the minimal one. They are just asking which of the following is equivalent to the given expression. They never mentioned that the answer will be present in the minimal form. So even though I have used K map here, but it's not always necessary that whatever answer you get using a K map in such questions will be present in the uh, options. Okay, so it's not uh, necessary. So what else you can do is you can use the Boolean laws on this expression and try to minimize it. Third method that you can use is you just try to expand these one by one. Okay, that's guaranteed to give you the correct answer. I'll show you what I'm saying. Say, let us try to expand this option B. It is A B bar. Now we want to represent each and every term in three variables to get the canonical SOP form. I want to find out the canonical SOP for option B. This term, it is A B bar. We are missing C. Okay, we don't have C in this term. Let's try to include C. So it will be C bar plus C. What I've done is I've multiplied A B bar by C bar plus C. And C bar plus C is 1. So A B bar dot 1 is obviously A B bar. That means uh, I can just multiply anything by C bar plus C in logic only. Okay. So next one is A C bar. You can see B is missing here. So I multiplied it by B bar plus B. In third one also B is missing. Now if you open these brackets, you are going to get A B bar C bar. Then you are going to get A B bar C. So this is the canonical SOP form for option B. You can see A B bar C bar. A B bar C bar is repeated twice. So you can ignore it once. I am just erasing it from here. Okay, That means this is your answer. You can compare both of these functions. The one that you are given in question and the one that you get by expanding option B. They are same. A B bar C. It is present. Then A B bar C bar. It is also present here. A B C bar. You have it here. A bar B bar C. You have it here. And the last one is A bar B C. You have it here. Okay, so both of these expressions, they are exactly same. Similarly, you can expand all of the options one by one and see which one is correct. We have solved it in both the ways, K map as well as expanding the options. I've also discussed the third method in many uh, videos. What you can do is you can draw the K map for each of the options. That means for this one, you draw the K map. For all of the options, you draw the K map and compare this K map. That's nothing but uh, this method only. You're, what you're doing is you're finding the min terms for each of the options. You can either use this way or use the K map. Okay, so your answer is option B.